In this video, we're going to talk about the real cause of headaches and migraines. This is very important and very valuable because this video is actually worth $31 billion. And that's the amount of money that's spent on headaches every single year. It's crazy. If you look up the cause of headaches, you'll normally see it's an unknown cause. It's very complex. It's very mysterious. And uh, it's usually coming from anxiety or depression. That's actually not the case. The cause of headaches is very simple when you look at the whole body. I think the confusion is when people get pain in their head, they think the problem is in your head. Headaches are, does not, the source of headaches do not come from your head, usually, maybe 1% of the time. So one of the first things you want to do with a headache or a migraine, and by the way, a migraine is just a more severe headache where it can involve sensitivity to light, nauseousness, and vomiting, all right? Get a history. Find out, is there any pattern involved in these headaches? Maybe it's connected to your sinuses because of the pressure. Well, that's a pretty no-brainer. Then this would be the cause. Or maybe it's connected to your menstrual period, which every month you get a headache. We just isolated the root cause. Or maybe it was after an injury or after you drank alcohol last night and had a hangover or when you stopped drinking caffeine and you got caffeine withdrawals. Or maybe it was an allergy. So you want to get a history to get a clue of what's causing these headaches. But 90% of all headaches are coming from the gallbladder, all right? If you don't believe me and you have a headache right now, all you have to do is take your hands and press over the gallbladder, which is right down here underneath the right rib cage, and just press in and go in a little bit at this angle and hold this for two minutes. If your headaches clear up, then we know it's gallbladder, and this is food related. It's many times when you eat too many nuts or peanut butter, when you try to eat healthier, that will trigger the gallbladder. A lot of times it could be junk food or fatty foods, but that gallbladder triggers a nerve right underneath your diaphragm that's called the phrenic nerve that goes right up through to the right shoulder and up to the head. And also the gallbladder meridian in Chinese medicine goes all the way up to the top of your head, all the way through here. But it also goes on the left side too, depending on if you have a digestive issue. So 90% of the time, it's going to be gallbladder related, and you just need to change your eating. 5% of the time, it's going to be coming from a nerve pinch in your neck. Of course, when you go to the chiropractor, when you get adjusted and align that neck and head it goes away, we know it's coming from a pinched nerve. But let's say it keeps coming back over and over and over, then we know there's some other cause. Um, I personally had headaches for 12 years, and I didn't know what they were until I found out it was my gallbladder, it wasn't my neck, because I had probably 1,000 adjustments, and it just kept coming back over and over and over and over. So when you try to solve the wrong problem and it keeps coming back, then we have the wrong problem. Okay, 2% of the time, it's the sinuses, right? Well, that's pretty easy because you have a sinus congestion. It could be back into the, the station tubes, back in the back of the throat, up to the ears and that pressure will definitely cause a headache. And um, then you would just want to do things to help your sinuses. I like to uh, recommend uh, the kale shake in the morning for, because of the high vitamin A. You can go to my website and download the recipe. Also, you can do consume radishes. Radishes are really good to pull mucus out of the body and the sinuses, and that will clear up the sinuses. Um, and then we have the menstrual cycle. So if you get a headache that time of the month, then we need to support the ovaries with some type of natural remedy to help the headaches. Only 1% of the time is it going to be coming from these things right here, from an old injury to the head. That could be the source of a headache. Um, a tumor, which is very, very rare. And of course, if you've exhausted all the most common ones, then you can actually get some testing to see, is it really a headache? The problem is, I had People, I've had people come in and they've spent thousands and thousands of dollars with testing when this is so rare to look for a tumor and they never found anything. It's just a waste of money. If you do something very simple and you rule out the cause of it, you saved a lot of money. Okay, infection, meningitis. If you have a fever and you feel tired, it could be an infection causing your headaches. Don't rule that out, That's especially if you have a skin reaction on, on your body. And it could be an allergy to something. It could be a food allergy. I've had people have headaches after eating gluten, which is the protein in the wheat, or maybe milk, or some other allergy that can be causing, triggering the headache. So 
That's mainly going to be food related or it could be seasonal uh, related. Um, caffeine withdrawal, we talked about that, or a hangover. So that's the order of sequence of most common to least uh, common causes of headaches. I hope this helped. If it's helped you, please make a comment below on this video, and I'll see you in the next video.